Hey guys, Frank here. Um, I just arrived in the studio and today we're gonna have to workshop A to Z, meaning we're gonna do everything in workflow. But first of all, I wanna uh, say to all the people that are affected by the terrorist attack in Paris, we wish you all the best and you know, words can describe it. So it's getting really close now, so that's terrible. Um, anyway, a lot of people ask me like, Frank, can you run Photoshop full screen on an iPad Pro? And no, you can't for the very simple reason. It's an iOS device and there is no Photoshop full screen, right? And there's Lightroom Mobile, Photoshop Fix, but sometimes you just want to run Photoshop for all your filters, but you don't want to sit behind your laptop or you don't want to sit behind your Mac or PC. So how do you run Photoshop full screen on your Mac Pro, or sorry, on your iPad Pro? There's an app in the App Store called AstroPad and I'm going to show you now how it works. Still waiting for my Apple Pencil to come in. This is the iPad Pro and as you can see we're running full screen Photoshop. Everything is very clear. Everything is very readable. Here are some shortcuts. So shift control option command so I can press them on the screen and use them. Uh, here are all my filters or oh, sorry, all my actions and channels. As you can see, it's all very, very clear. And especially with the Apple Pencil, even with my finger, I can already control it. The only thing you have to do is install AstroPad from the um, App Store. And one of the other things is you have to change a little bit on your big screen because this is a 27 inch BenQ monitor. And here you can actually see that I just changed my Photoshop from not full screen to this size because it can do full screen but then you have black bars on top on AstroPad or in other words on your iPad Pro. So I don't know how it works yet but this looks pretty nice right? So let me see if I have a picture here that I can actually open. So let's go to file open and I'm now using my um, my trackpad. So file open. Let's see if we have something that's on mine, no, I have my disk still off. So I can't show you a picture, but it works pretty well. And as soon as the pen is coming in, uh, I will st uh, the pencils coming in, I will actually start showing you guys how to retouch on your iPad. Because the fun thing is, if you have a picture on there, let me see if I can get a picture working. Uh, let me just drag this one in. There we go. Okay, so as soon as you have your picture open now, somebody asked me, how do I do this? There's an app called AstroPad. Uh, it's 9095, I believe, on the App Store, and it actually makes it possible to use your iPad Pro mirroring your big screen. So running full Photoshop on your iPad Pro is, of course, not the real truth, but you can do everything you want. So let me see. You can just you can just paint. So I'm now doing it with my finger, so that's like terrible. But let me do this undo brush. Word. There we go. Now, as soon as I go here, it should be possible to squeeze. There we go. So you can actually zoom in and then you can start your editing process. And of course, now I'm doing everything wrong because I'm doing periscoping and trying to do this. Yeah, sure. Now it's going great. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So this is a little bit tricky at the moment because I'm also holding. Well, anyway, you can zoom in, you can do whatever you want with it. Now, you can connect it via Wi-Fi or you can connect it via your lightning adapter. Lightning adapter is a little bit faster with tracking, but Wi-Fi works pretty cool. As you can see here, it's now on Wi-Fi. Again, it's, a, it's an app called AstroPad. I'm not affiliated with them. I just tried it out. And I think this will be one of the main advantages of using the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil because it's very, very accurate. And as you can see, it's possible to run your full Photoshop. Now, how can you do this in practice? Very simple. Imagine this. You have your laptop with you. Your laptop is just open and it's somewhere on the other side of the room or next to you. And you can just use everything on your iPad Pro. So everything that's touch enabled. So as long as you don't need a keyboard. But if you do need a keyboard, you can of course use the smart cover or the um, Logitech Create. But that takes a little bit away, of course, from the portability of the iPad Pro. So that's what I wanted to show you, running full screen Photoshop with, of course, Photoshop in the back. You still need a host computer, but this opens up a lot of creativity and you can sit down on the bed in a hotel or in your own bed, of course, and do some really relaxed retouching. 
So thank you very much for watching. I will upload this to YouTube too, so you can watch it later. So thanks again, and see you later.